welcome back to Nordic's Play, Danganronpa 2, to play play with Phantom and Velikar. So, and a lot of poop. Yep. We actually went around this island a couple of times, hoping to mature our shitty me. And god damn, she shits a lot. The poop machine. Yeah! The engine of feces. Damn. Okay, we're going here. So we decided to just go forward and... Yeah, she's still shitty me, so... Yeah. We have some regrets. We have some regrets, indeed. So do we need to check the back wall where they... I spears? would imagine... Hello. Spear. Yeah, there's a similar spears. Yeah. And one is missing. Flashy ornament. Suga. Just as I thought. It looks exactly like the spear that killed Nagito. Good for you. The same with the like cord is attached to the handle, and there's a weight at the end of it. It's well kind of weird weapon, indeed. Wait. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 I might have skipped something, but I don't think. Because it uh. didn't respond to my first click, so I clicked again. Well, it is what it is. Yeah. Plus, it looks like one of the spears on the wall is missing. <laughs> There's no mistaking it. The killer took one of the spears and used it as a weapon. No, but hold on. Wow. The Spear of Gugnir, huh? Monokobat would totally come up with a lame name like that. But why did the killer use the spear and a knife? Man. Yeah, they could have just killed him with the knife, and it would have been easier too. And there were so many weird things about the spear. Oh no. There's no way a spear like this with this unnecessary coating on it would have been used. Looks like this with this looks stupid. Yeah, it definitely looks hard to wield. But still, they chose this spear for a reason. What could that reason be? Maybe the cord, goddamn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Contributing. I feel a little tired. No, we want to check the Nagito's room first. No matter how much I investigate, I don't feel any closer to the truth. That's probably why I feel this way. I'm feeling this strange feeling that I've never felt before. <sighs> why, Hajime? Why? As if Nakido is trying to make us suffer even after he's died. How do you mess up being dramatic? Well, now's not the time to think about stupid things like that. I need to say it out loud. I haven't even investigated his cottage yet. It's too early to start complaining. You complain all the time, that's all you do. Yeah, it's, I mean, yeah. If we investigate that place, we might be able to find some kind of clue. Or maybe Monokuma? Uh, I'm pretty sure that the last Monokuma dolly is going to be there. Alright, let's go! <laughs> so, we'll be leaving this place. And you'll be seeing us again once we get there. And here we are! And, yeah, we are not exactly in the center because we took a little walk and finally oh. 
I'm not going to say anything about it. Of course it leaves poopy. Right. No, 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 please. No, no, no. no. Uh, no. Tissue! <laughs> well, of course. Yes. Thank, thank um. you, shitty me. It, it was something. Yeah, bye, bye, goodbye, <laughs> bye bye, farewell. Get rid of the poop. <laughs> God damn, I was like, is it going to give up got to buy my poop? It wants to give you something, no. Yeah, yeah, I was like, what? No, 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 you don't, no need to just, yeah, just keep it to yourself, please. <laughs> okay. And now, Ooh. with clean slate, a poop free slate, we go to the hotel to see We should have counted how many times we actually had to stop to keep clean up the thing. Oh, actually, yeah. Because it, it was a lot. It, it was, was a lot. That thing just pooped out. An absolute storm. Oh. Whoa, hello. Talking, well, speaking of poop, what are you doing here? Hello. Let, let us in. Clatter, clatter. Clatter, clatter. We have to talk to Monokuma. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, my. You better go inside Nagita's room, too. Yes. Hinata kun. Uh, oh, gee, man. You're slow. I was just listening to check his request. <laughs> she wants me to unlock the door to knock it as Cody's because she really needs it for a class trial. Mm, probably, yes. Ha! Ha! Yes. Sense it. He begged me to do while she was licking my black eye. So disgusting. I didn't do that. No, mm -hmm. And do it. It's sweet because it's made out of black beans. Sure. Hey, we don't have time to mess around. Hurry up and unlock the damn door. Shut up, hey, Hajime. Hey. Fine, fine, I guess I have no choice. I just gotta do that, right? <laughs> now then, Ramro. I have no idea. Okay. See? Happened it up? You can really investigate now. Yay! This isn't my first time seeing that, but why does the door open with a spell like that? The cottage key is computerized. No, no. More importantly, let's go inside now that the door is open. Mm -hmm. Intent. Yeah, you're right. Of course I'm right, I'm smart. Monokuma's taking a bath! Monokuma's taking a bath! Yeah. So, Makido was living here. What was he thinking inside this room? We want to know. What was he feeling as he spent his days in here? I can't even imagine. Wanting to see absolute hope. Become despair so he could have a stepping stone for the rest of us. No matter how much I think about it, I just don't understand him at all. I don't even know if he truly believed that. He was especially weird these past few days. Hajime, can you please shut up? What changed him? Maybe the clue to that might be hidden here as well. Why are you He has a refrigerator. <laughs> he actually does. <laughs> and he has a bookshelf with all sorts of nice things. And otherwise, it's quite plain and normal looking. Monokuma. Monokuma. Yeah. Yeah. That's so disgusting. 
Okay, let's look at the refrigerator because why does he have one? Yeah. Refurijeta. What is it? Nice. My goddess doesn't even have a refrigerator. I wonder where he got it from. Nagido probably supplied it himself. Hmm? Why would he go to the trouble of putting a refrigerator in his room? Does he really enjoy cold drinks? Maybe. I understand him if that's the case. Sprite slushy? Sprite slushy, yes. <laughs> that was one time happy accident, then it's good. As I thought, it's yucky. I opened the refrigerator out of curiosity. Okay. Why oh, not come a special poison for poisoning is only? No way! Hmm. There really isn't much inside. So, was that what was in one of the canisters? I could see that being the case. Mm hmm. The only thing inside the refrigerator was a brown bottle. Hmm. Mm. Someone who likes cold drinks. It doesn't look like he's talked very much. But that bottle clearly isn't a drink. Right? Well, if it's liquid and you're adventurous enough. You shouldn't. It's not yeah. a good idea. No. Really? It looks like some kind of dietary supplement to me. Protein powder, maybe? Ajime. Protein? Nice. <laughs> Shout out to the previous Tangaroba, though. <laughs> I took the crown bottle out of the fridge and started reading the label. And then remembered that he can't read. Yeah, because it's... I mean, we are seeing it from here and we can read it quite easily enough. It's like it's again, Hajime doesn't know how to read. N O N O Q Exclusively made for poisoning someone to death. And it actually doesn't say that. No. Hey! This is... Masako. Yeah, looks like it's poison. Bummer. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Looks like there's a warning label on the back. Let's examine it in a little more detail. You're not exposed to heat. But, but be careful with that bottle. Don't drop it, and don't talk over me. Man. I'm smart, you're not. Dumbass. So stop it! <laughs> if you're worried like that, I'm going to get nervous. And I assume that it's going to be something like, if you expose it to heat, it's going to turn into a gas of mm -hmm. some kind. Mm -hmm. and, and it's all... Yeah. And bye bye. I cracked the bottle with my trembling hand and began drinking the warning label on the back of the bottle. Poison made specifically for killing someone. It's monarch was special poison. This enchanted liquid is highly potent and takes effect immediately. Please handle the care. Though its volatility is low. Volatility. This liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. Yes, yeah. here we go. In gaseous state, it's heavier than air. It breaks down in minutes, and it is sus susceptible. Susceptible. <laughs> Hydrolysis. Yeah, there it is, heavier than air. So when it broke and there, there was mm -hmm. a lot of heat, mm -hmm. it sank to the ground level. That's what killed him. Yeah. So it's possible for you to poison someone to death without any complications. Keep this liquid secure by storing it in a cool place in a glass or plastic container away from sunlight. Mm. 
Et se on syömässä kiku. This sure does look like a chemical made solely for poisoning someone to death. This refrigerator must be here to keep the poison secure. Oh, wait, not you get something like this. An the octagon. That question could apply to the bomb he used at the hotel too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Apply to the backup. Hold on. There should be a reason Nakito was able to obtain such dangerous items. Where could he have gone that the rest of us hadn't gone to? The, mm. the octagon inside the funhouse! I'm well smart! Done, Yay! Yay! This poison, he must have brought it with him from there too, right? <laughs> He was probably hiding them somewhere on his body during the last class trial. How did he keep it cool? Exactly, and how did he keep Especially if it was under his clothes, you know, hidden somewhere. It had to be because mm -hmm. we didn't see it. The body heat alone should have been a problem, but... Mm. And it's, it wasn't really a small bottle. At least it didn't look like it. No, and he did not wear any kind of baggy clothing or something like that. Illogical. Also, he apparently stored the poison and the bomb. Yeah, where did he hide the bomb? Uh -huh. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was hiding a bomb and poison during the class trial. <sighs> Sounds weird. Jeez, how oh, dangerous. Well, that's true. Mm -hmm. What would he have done? If he accidentally tripped and broke the bottle. Well, that would have been quite unlucky. And it just doesn't happen. Yeah. She's Nagito. Just thinking about it scares me. No, no. Also, he already blew up the bomb he took with him at the lobby. <laughs> But what about this poison? Oh! What on here? It looks like the bottle is less than half empty. Or could you say it's more less than half full? Uh, no. Okay. Was it like this from the beginning? Indeed. It Or did Nagito use it? If so, where did he use it? I wonder, is there still a top somewhere that hasn't been sprung yet? Oh, oh not a top. For example, maybe he was making some kind of top using this poison before he died. Well, that's highly likely, yes. If that actually exists, it'd be real bad. It could potentially kill everyone on this island. Okay. Yeah, everyone on the island? What, what the hell? Akira, are you still trying to make us suffer? I'm still trying to make her suffer even after you died. Okay, what's the monomy chest? Box. Oh, didn't she say that she was missing a box yep. of some kind? She actually did say that. Covered in sparkling light. Oh, could this be? Yep. Yep. A treasure box. Yeah, you know about this. Uh, it's really cute. Oh. Oh, she was just reacting. 
This looks like Monomi's stolen treasure box. He kisses. Yeah, that means... The thief Monomi was talking about was Nakito. But why would Nakito steal this? In order to find out, it might be good to see what's inside. Mata. Is it gonna be okay? It looks a little dangerous. Yeah, it kinda looks a bit suspicious. It might be part. This could be some kind of clue, you know. Ah. Uh. If this wasn't important, Akita would have wouldn't have stolen it from Monami in the first place. I turned back toward the treasure box and cautiously opened the lid. Inside, there was a notebook! You saw me general purpose notebook. Okay. Great class number name. Hmm. This is it. Why is a notebook inside this treasure box like it's something important? I wonder, Ajime. I took the notebook out of the treasure box and began leafing through it. Again, because you can't read. <laughs> Bad guy. <laughs> it contains sloppy drawings and as if they were drawn by children and entries that looked like chicken scratch. Look at that, so cool. Byakuya became the leader, I think. It's so insane. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I assume it says Byakuya became the leader. Everyone's Day one. tired. I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today. Monokuma showed up and things turned bad. Day two. Byakuya is the leader. A lot of things happened today, so everyone's tired. That's not what it says. No. Ajima can't read. Mm hmm. What? Is this a diary? Yes, Hajime, you are reading a. Well, woman's diary. <laughs> Diaper Rabbit's Diaper diary. Diaper Rabbit's diary. That's not very nice. It. Looks like it. Did Monomi write these? Probably. These pictures and entries totally suit her. Oh. I kept flipping through the pages. Day 3. Day 4. Day 5. Page after page of poorly written entries continued on the, the notebook. I don't really understand, but it looks like there aren't any clues here. And right when I was about to give up, my hand suddenly stopped on an entry titled Day 16. We've been there for two weeks already. Day 16. We've been in the fun house for three days. Everyone's hungry and on the edge. Ajime tried to go in the final dead room. Mm -hmm. Ajime tried to go into the final dead room today. He's probably panicking because no one believes him. I mean... Wait. Shiaki stopped him that time. Yes. Huh? No, no. Ah, Jim. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. Yamiti! Hi! Stop! Don't look at my notebook! Yay, Monami. I'm, I'm just jamming here. Monomi really has the best tune. She does! Too bad she's annoying. <laughs> she hasn't really listened as a tune. Woohoo! From out of nowhere, Monomi suddenly appeared and took the notebook out of my hand. Did you see nothing? Oh! I did not give the look for my treasure box, but I did not sense you were all the big inside! That was close! If I had come a little later, he would have seen the inside of the notebook! Um... Um... Monomi... We had already opened it. Yeah. <sighs> Unfortunately, you are a little too late. 
Lady. Ahora sí. Es esto, porque sí. Ah, no. It's pretty much your diary, right? Mono me, it's not good to lie, you know. Paka? Yes, Paka. There's no way you wrote in that notebook. Because, like, how do you can't read? You can't write. Come on. <laughs> hey, I'm not making jokes about it anymore. <laughs> After all, Mono me can't even write. I mean, <clears throat> it sort of <laughs> was tiny bit obvious, so <laughs> I tried to click it fast enough away, <laughs> but... <laughs> oh! She's like the opposite of me. He's hinting that somebody else wrote it for her. Mm -hmm. No, you can't, because you have nothing else in your hand. Um, uh, yeah, Monokuma at least has thumb. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> See? Bullseye! I know, because I'm doing it too. You have Toms! Are you? Are you? Huh? Hey, Matt. Are you angry that I exposed a weakling like you? <laughs> yay, yay! So, that's what this is about! You... You furiously trying to cross me! What are you doing now? What? What are you saying? There's no way a big brother would ever crush his little sister. That's okay. It looks, it looks like the time the little things between us is getting closer every second. Hey, I don't know why, why you're getting so serious, but is what Monokuma said true? We go ahead. He said you didn't write in that notebook. Is that true? <laughs> oh, are, are you? If so, who wrote it? It. Oh, well, you you know, it's a uh, um of uh, that to this. Hi, Excuse me. Oh, it was the traitor. Mm hmm. Oh, hold on, Dabby. She totally ran away again. Hmm. Same pattern as usual. Looks like it's a waste of time to try to get answers from her. But the only other who I could imagine riding in that kind of style would be probably Akane. 
<laughs> oh my god. He's not gonna feel the traitor. Well, I mean, it could be. Because Fuyuhiko is way too... L I mean, he was supposed to be the next big mafioso. He definitely knows how to ride and draw. Well, yeah. I mean, it could be just someone pretending to be dumber than they are and just writing poorly. Uh, maybe. Make it look like, hey, it's Monomi. But still, I really wanted to ask her about that notebook. Well, actually, it might be better that I didn't ask her. But why the strange voice in my head? Well, because you are dumb. You would come to different conclusions. Oh, of course. Okay. And on that note, and that revealed secret of Monomi, we'll be leaving this episode. Oh my. Because we have almost checked everything we can, so probably in the next episode we'll start the trial. Maybe. Maybe. We'll have to see. And if you don't want to miss that, then be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a like, leave a comment, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye! Ciao.